We are in Chinatown, Honolulu at the moment, and uh, wanted to take a look and walk around for about an hour. And we're standing on Hotel Street, which is an old one. And if Steve like shows you this way, he can show you the vegetable market and stuff like that. And like New York, we have various residents hanging out, so that was a beer. We've got lotus roots here. I don't think I've seen these in New York. That may be because I haven't been looking, but I I don't recall seeing these. And uh, arrow roots. There's an arrow head. Green guava. Here's some apple bananas, not the most awesome shape, but nevertheless, they're kind of angled, yeah? They're kind of packed tightly together, kind of packed tightly together, and they come like in a double row. Now look at these over here. These are your baby baby bananas that you can get like in New York as well. They're not packed tightly. See, they're not they're not squarish. They're more rounded all the way. As opposed to the apple bananas. So don't be fooled by the baby banana. It's not an apple banana. These are nice too, and they're sweet, but they're not anywhere near what an apple banana tastes like. And you cannot find apple bananas outside of here, as far as I know. Then we got some from Ecuador, and then the adult stuff. <coughs> so here we have your duck shop. Duck roasting. And your roast duck. And various duck parts. And more duck. And another uh, duck. Next door, we have flowers. Here we have a flower shop. So that's what lays look like when you buy them fresh in Chinatown. The hard part is choosing. Some of the more fragrant ones don't last very long, so one shouldn't expect them to last very long. And there's orchids. And then there's tube rows with carnation, and that one I don't know. And then there's orchids again with tube rows in it. And then the one I don't know with tube rows, and then a straight carnation. And these look like a yellow tube rows, and I'm not sure what they are. And from here, I'm pretty much lost until we get back to the orchids. So. And that looks like a white plumeria of some sort. Is that a white plumeria? Uh, that's a white orchid. Oh, it, in the middle. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Of course, yes. Awesome. And what's the orange one? Uh, lemon lima. Are they fragrant? Uh, no. No. Right. Then you have the Miley stuff. That's the green stuff that the guys wear. And then you've got some real special stuff down here now. Now it's getting fancy. Cook Island mine is there. And then a couple of simple flower arrangements.
shop um, because Promers, which I'm not really a big fan of anyway, but they have good maps. Uh, the Promers maps indicates there's a noodle shop down here, but there isn't. So Promers isn't so reliable, is it? Uh, and the herb shop they said is supposed to be here isn't here in the same name either. It's a different name, but nevertheless there is an herb shop. So um, uh, we thought we'd share share the stuff with for uh, you know Chinese healing. You need various things. There's some good looking stuff here too. Is it for fish in the aquarium or is it to put on fish when you cook it? That's the question. But we have no fish to cook, so we won't know anyway. But standing um, across from a very old building from 1909. And um, you might think it was New York or Seattle or something. Until you look at the palm trees, you realize you're not in New York or Seattle. And then you get over here, you get your Chinatownish variety of oranges and brooms and dried shrimp. And, uh, oh, and there's a noodle factory over there that we couldn't find. It's supposed to be up that way, but it's actually down this way, unless it's a different one. Which, uh, let me see. Yat Tong Chow. I probably slaughtered that one. Yep, that's the one. So Promers has it on the wrong place on the map. Promers. Here you have um, your tapioca deals, your bubble tea things, and bags of meat with flies on it. Coconut juice in a can. And uh, there's some slaughter of meat stuff going on over here. And then there's a fish market on the other side, over here. So, uh, that's pretty much a, a quick little roundabout of where we're standing now. Uh, I think we're going to be... Mm, that looks good, look at that. I think we'll go for the, uh, for the wheat noodle type noodles over on the other side. Well, here's that noodle factory. I don't know if we're supposed to go in here, but we're going to take a quick little peek. We'll follow the, follow the pigeon. Any space like in New York, and I'm sure they put out a bunch of noodles every day, like tons of pounds. Looks like if you need it, there's a hair fashion studio upstairs. Obviously, I don't need it, but it's good to know, huh? Which we could use some, but I don't want to carry them. That's the problem. A lot of chopsticks. Whoa, we just found some fat chop suey. Whoa, fat. <laughs> 